Algebra 1 homework. We'll start with problem 16 and see how far we get. Okay, we have 2 times x to the 0, y squared, the entire expression to the negative 3, times 2, y, x cubed. Okay, so we have 2, y, x cubed over 2, y squared, cubed because x to the 0 is 1. All right, well, okay, that is going to be the same as 2y x cubed over 2 cubed, which is 8, 2 times 2 times 2. times y to the sixth. y divided by y to the sixth gives me a denominator of y to the fifth. So this will end up being x cubed over 4y to the fifth because 2 divided by 8 is 1 over 4, but we don't have to write the 1, we just know it's there. x cubed over 4y to the fifth. 17. 2k cubed times k squared over k to the negative 3. Remember what we said about a negative exponent in the denominator? What we said about a negative exponent in the denominator is that we can move it from here to here and change the sign. If you want to know the real mathematics involved or the number theory, ask me on Monday. I'll be happy to show you. So we have 2k cubed k cubed, k squared, 2, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8, k to the 8. If you're confused, expand it out. Here we go. x to the negative 3 to the power of 4 times x to the 4th over 2x to the negative 3. Well, the 2 is going to stay in the denominator. x to the negative 3 to the 4th power is going to be x to the negative 12 times x to the 4th. And then we have this x to the negative 3 which becomes x cubed in the numerator. That is the same as x to the 7th over 2x to the 12th. x to the 7th came from here. x to the 4th times x cubed is x to the 7th. I have moved this to the denominator and changed the sign. But wait, x to the 7th over x to the 12th is the same as 1 over x to the 5th, and I still have my original 2 in the denominator. Okay, we're almost done. Let's push on. Number 19, 2x to the negative fourth over x to the negative first times x. x to the negative first gives me an x in the numerator. 2x to the negative fourth gives me 2x to the fourth in the denominator times x, but wait, x divided by x 
is 1. So that gives me 1 over 2 to the 4th. 2 to the 4th. Well, let's see. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. So 2 to the 4th power. Remember, the exponent distributes when you have parentheses. 16x to the 4th. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our final answer for 19. Number 20. How crazy does this look? 2x cubed z squared, the entire expression cubed. I'm just going to expand this one. 2 cubed is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8 x cubed cubed is x to the ninth. z squared cubed is z to the sixth. Over x cubed y to the fourth. z squared times x to the negative 4, so that's going to be times x to the 4th in the numerator, times z cubed. So what do we have here? We have 8x to the 13th, 9 plus 4 is 13, times z to the 6th, over x cubed y to the fourth z to the fifth. Let's simplify. We still have 8 in the numerator, x to the thirteenth divided by x cubed is x to the tenth z to the 6th over z to the 5th gives me z in the numerator, or z to the 1st if that makes you happier, over y to the 4th. 21 and 22 and then we are all done. 2, P, M to the negative 1, Q to the 0, which is 1. That whole thing to the negative 4th, times 2, M to the negative 1, times P cubed, over 2, P times Q squared. Okay, surely we can do something interesting with this. This is going to equal to the negative 4th. We have 2 p m to the negative 1. q to the 0 is always 1. So this expression to the fourth in the denominator times 2 m to the minus 1 becomes m to the first power in the denominator times p cubed over two P Q squared. How much can we simplify this? Two P cubed over two to the fourth, which is sixteen, P to the fourth. m to the negative fourth, four times negative one is negative four, but m to the negative four comes up here as an m to the fourth, times m, times two, times p, times q squared. 
Well, this is sort of interesting. We have 2 over 2, that's 1. We have p cubed over p to the fifth. So that is going to give us p squared in the denominator and our 16. Now we have m to the fourth over m. That gives us m cubed here. And q squared. That really wasn't so bad. That looked pretty gruesome. And you may have needed a lot of scratch paper to expand everything out, but the answer really wasn't too bad. Okay, we have one more problem, and I'm going to finish that on this particular vid, and then we will be done. Let's see whether I can find another copy of problem 22, because I am totally running out of space here. Problem 22, problem 22. Here we go, problem 22. Okay, we have blah, 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 to the zero power. Cool, that's one. Now what's my denominator? Well, I have a two down here. H to the negative three puts my H into the numerator, my j in the numerator, and my k in the numerator. So my answer ends up being h cubed j to the fourth k squared over 2. Good job.